my outlook on life is pretty much throw the stone in the direction that you want to go in and follow. Once I decide I want something, you know, I go for it. <laughs> My name is Sandra Horn. I'm a hot rod enthusiast and I'm a pinup model and MC. Cars are definitely my passion. My mum and dad were into cars, so they always had hot rods. My way of staying around cars was to work, you know, in the industry. And that was, and I've channeled basically, yeah, my passion into my work. I drive a 1932 Ford 5 window coupe. It's got a 383 Chev and a Turbo 350. So I came across my 1932 Ford. The fundamentals were there. It had a great look overall, but it just needed tweaking to, to flow, which is what I think when you, when you build a hot rod needs to do. I wanted a car that people looked at it, and though I don't want it to be feminine, I wanted it to also be me. So somewhere in my mind came up with the name High Maintenance, and I think the name High Maintenance, it, <laughs> pretty much nails it. <laughs> the car is a tribute to a 60s style drag car. In no way is it fully traditional. The lakes to headers on it, you no know, bonnet. It's got Raider wheels, which are on the Batmobile in the 60s. Got a T-model steering wheel in it. They're all the things that I think are elements of a 60s rod. And I'm absolutely wrapped with the way it's turned out. like about driving to destinations is pulling up at a service station and having a conversation with someone you never ever met before and the only thing they want to know is where you've been and where you're going. It's always interesting to see their reaction when you drive in with a hot rod into a small country town. You generally get to see a different side of people when they really open up because they want to know what you're doing there and then you get to have that conversation with them. are something that has influenced me in my life. Uh, my name is Sandra, so I've very often been called Sandy. Grease was one of my favourite movies when I was a kid. It has been fundamental with some of the pin-up. I guess I've always liked that 50s style and it's always been a fun way for me to get dressed up around the car scene. Yeah, I love the attention. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Racing something I've always wanted to do. It's not just about racing. A lot of people look at that and think, there's not a lot of skill involved in it, but there is. It's a strange sense of satisfaction <laughs> racing your car. It's, I suppose unless you're really into it, you don't really understand it. You cannot be unhappy driving a car like that. I am definitely the happiest I could be when driving my hot rod. It, it just takes away every trouble in the world. I think driving a car like a hot rod around Australia is the best way to see. It's not normal what I do. It's not normal to drive from one end of the country to the other, but it's it's part of the fun. And I want to look back and go, that's, the, that's what I did. I, I did something that was a bit different to everyone else. And, and I love doing it.